All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back, baby. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content, man. Listen, man, we are definitely over 10,000 subscribers. We are trying to reach 11,000 right now. I believe we had 10,400 and something. So we're trying to get to that magic number of 11,000. We're trying to reach a million. So listen, man, if you like the Sketch Pair Podcast, give us a thumbs up. Also, too, if you would like to donate, because YouTube has shut our monetization down for right now. I don't know why. We're still monetized, but we're not getting none of the super chats and none of the donations. So if you would like to donate to the Sketch Pad, Links in the description, PayPal, Cash App. Also, too, don't forget, if you don't have any money to donate, just share it with your family, man. Tell them about the greatest podcast in the world. It's catch bad. All right, man. So, today's topic, DJ Envy. Who raised you? Oh my God, this is so hard. Oh! Oh my God. That last bar was crazy. Oh my God. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. I hate to say this. It's light skinned niggas, man. (laughs) (laughs) Light skinned niggas, man. You always up to to no good. Light skinned niggas, man. Now, let me stop playing. Anyway, so, so according to. TMZ or whoever the source is, DJ Envy has been getting over and scamming people for years through real estate, like a Ponzi scheme or whatever you want to call it. And his partner, uh, DJ Envy partner, has been, I believe he's been arrested. I'm not sure. But now he's been arrested. <laughs> excuse me, he's been arrested. Yeah. Yeah, he's been so it's only a matter of time before DJ Envy gets arrested. What's coming? So, what do I think about this whole situation? Now, I'm just going to say full transparency. I don't know too much about the whole situation with DJ Envy. And I'm just going to go off what allegedly, allegedly has happened and what people allege has happened. Um, So, they're basically saying that him and his partner were putting people in these bad deals and getting over on people and stealing money running off and leaving people with you know whether they lost i noticed one guy said he lost of uh, three million dollars or something like that in real estate dealing with Ooh. dj and it was a couple other people who came out and said they lost money mm. now losing money doesn't necessarily mean that you are running a scam on somebody that mm. doesn't mean that you know what i'm saying you go to the, you can go to the casino and lose money are they running a the scam on you no. Also, too, you got to take consideration. Before you get into a deal with somebody, you're supposed to have a professional look at this stuff. You're just not going to go and go sit at a table and do a deal with somebody without a, a, a realtor or someone who actually knows about the business. That doesn't make sense. So if you did that, I can't fault DJ MV for that. I could fault him from being a bad person if he but. I can't fault him for being because maybe he didn't know. Maybe he thought that that was wasn't against the law. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to this type of stuff, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that people don't know that is breaking the law. Even people who are into it don't even know because there's so much there's so much papers in how would I say this? Uh wording that you don't really know you have to get a lawyer that that language you like some of that language 
is written a certain way, you don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? You can you can understand what the words mean, but comprehending it is something different. So maybe DJ Envy thought something and it didn't happen like that. I'm just just trying to give him shoot him some bail because I, me personally, <clears throat> I don't know how malicious this person is, but if he's stealing money from people and he didn't thought he was going to get caught. Yeah, he's stupid for that, because eventually if you're doing something illegal and you know it's illegal, but you're still doing it because you think you found a loophole. It's going to come back to get you. That's just how it goes. I stay far away from all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't deal with, I'll deal with, 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 with a few people, but anything that has to do with something that, that requires a lawyer and paperwork. Yeah. I'm getting a lawyer and he's going to, he's going to figure it all out for me. I'm not going to be the one out here. Like, yeah, uh, I know what I'm doing. I do it myself. Like, no, nah, I'm not doing all that. So, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what to say about this whole situation. You know, more news will come out. That's all I can say. Well, um, like the reports that's that's been coming out thus far, you know, um, it is it's not just it's not just uh, envy in an old boy. It's a bunch of other people that's involved in it too. But those are the two main guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. What I got to say is that man. Y'all gotta be better with with knowing who y'all doing business with. Just simple as that. You know what I mean? Not everything that seems like it's green on the other side is actually green. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you yeah. when me. you go yeah, no problem. Yeah, when you go out there and you uh and, and and you look at these business proposals and you see these guys making tons and tons of money, you gotta understand the whole scheme behind it. Cause these pyramid schemes is no joke. Like, uh, I ain't even going front. Like I was a victim of one, but I didn't lose no money because I seen what was going on. I got out of there quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, I'm gonna just give you, you know, briefly of what, so, um, what happened was I was, um, and I'm pretty sure there's other people that have done this. Uh, I got involved in selling these products, right? And these products were like, you know, supposed to be like state of the art. You know what I mean? Can do, cut through anything, can do anything, whatever, stuff like that. So I ended up paying a certain amount of money for these products and I was supposed to advertise it to my friends, family, whoever, right? Mind you, I spent money. I didn't spend my money as how much they spent, but I spent a lot of money. And um, the products didn't really sell themselves like they were supposed to. Like, I'm not saying the products wasn't good. They were actually good. They were actually useful. But they just wasn't what it was supposed to be. So at the end of the day, I ended up getting a refund and sending the products back because they didn't do nothing as far as selling. Now, in that case, they can't do that. You know, um, when you get involved in stuff like that, like you, you definitely have to have a lawyer. You definitely have to have somebody that has a know-how when it comes to real estate, because real estate is no joke. Everybody wants to get into real estate because it, it, it's a great way to make money. But if you don't know what you're doing, you get yourself in a lot of trouble. And it's obvious that Envy, you know what I'm saying, and his partner, even though they were, you know, they somehow were good at what they were doing for that short stint, it's obvious that Envy didn't know the whole logistics behind everything when it comes to real estate. And his mans knew, but his mans was keeping him out the loop. So what happens is, since Envy, and I'm not saying Envy's not guilty, I'm just saying when you look at it from the outside in, Envy's the poster boy. You know what I'm saying? He's the poster boy. There are not too many people know this other cat. You know what I'm saying? Envy's the poster boy. So yeah, after we get his mans out of here, we're going to go after him because he's the poster child for all this. So at the end of the day, Envy going to take a large hit. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, I mean, it, it is what it is. I don't. I mean, the whole thing of Emmy being a poster child. I get it. He's he's popular. I mean, well, his show is popular. I get it, but he I, he's on record saying that. I remember when somebody was telling him about. Uh, actually, it was the I believe it's the same lady. I'm not sure, but I believe it's the same lady that's on this show now. Mm-hmm. But um, I believe it's her. I'm not sure, but he was saying how he. <laughs> He was saying how he, what's the name, how he, um, how he, uh, um, oh, I know all about that because I'm into that. I know all about real estate. I mean, because she was talking about, uh, um, uh, opportunity zones and he was like, I know all about that. He said, you can't tell me nothing about that because I'm, that's what I do. That's what I do. I know what I'm talking about. So, and and on top of that, I seen an interview with him when he was saying that he asked he asked his Desert Storm family, you know, how they felt, and this was years ago, how they felt about what he was doing, and that's a red flag for me. If you asking somebody how you feel about what what I'm, what I'm doing, if you're not doing nothing illegal, then why would you say that? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And his yeah. Desert Storm family, Joe Buttons out of everybody said, "Nigga, that's a Ponzi scheme. You won't get locked up for it." And that was about, I don't know how long ago it was, but it, it was Desert Storm, so it was years ago. So, mm-hmm. we'll see what happens, man. But either way, I mean, hopefully they've sorted it out. I don't like to see no man go to prison, but, I mean, if you're doing something bad, my nigga, then I don't know. But, yeah, we out of here, man. You know what it is, man. See y'all. Sketchpad. Peace. <laughs>